Welcome back to Norton Tesla. I'm going to tackle a subject that may cause division. It's going to create sides, create conflict. It's going to be range percentage versus kilometers all over again. I'm talking about lane change confirmation. Lane change confirmation? Lane change confirmation? Did you just say lane change confirmation? Lane change confirmation? Yeah. This one comes from a viewer comment. Correcto man over here, a longtime follower, asked what setting I had for lane change confirmation. Up until now, I hadn't really thought of it. I just clicked no. I just assumed I wanted it off because wouldn't you want it to be automatic? That's the whole point of FSD, right? Well, it turns out there might be a better way. But before I get into it, please take a second and subscribe to help this community and channel grow. So if your car has the full self-driving package, in the autopilot menu, you'll find customized navigating autopilot. In that menu, you'll see the required lane change confirmation option. If you read the info, it says, by default, Navigator Autopilot requires a driver to confirm automatically initiated lane changes by pushing the turn signal in the intended direction of the lane change. You may choose to disable the turn signal confirmation for automatically initiated lane changes, but you must be aware that lane changes may happen quickly and at any time. Disabling the turn signal confirmation does not alleviate the driver of their responsibility to keep their hands on the wheel and carefully monitor the vehicle's surroundings. Now, as far as I know, this doesn't apply to the United States, as if you turn the setting off, it truly doesn't need any type of confirmation. But up here in Canada, whether you have this setting on or off, you still need to acknowledge your existence and confirm the lane change in some way. If this is similar to your country, let me know in the comments. All right, so let's get on the highway. I have navigate on autopilot set. Currently, I have lane confirmations off. So you'll see here, I got this blue wave and it's saying it's going to, uh, wants to change lanes. So you gotta give the wheel a tug. Now I can tug it here again and again. I'm kinda, it's a little more, see, I'm tugging it again. Like it's, you gotta tug it a little harder than what you would normally do while you're just holding the wheel. And you're doing it pretty hard and it's just not doing anything and it takes a little bit. All right, try again. Now you can see here, I. So tuck, no, tuck again, no, tuck. Oh, there it is. Like I just did the exact same thing three times and there it goes. So there's just not much consistency in that tug, which is annoying, right? So you can also use your turn signal to cancel it, but then you're activating your other turn signal. So it's kind of a mess with this, honestly. Uh, there you go, like it's crazy. All right, so now we have link change confirmation on. So in the menu prompt, it says to use the corresponding uh, signal to activate the lane change. And if you want to cancel the lane change, just do the opposite. But you can also use the stock, which I find is the best one. I usually rest my right arm on the armrest and my holding with my right hand just over here. So you just hit the stock and it's that easy. Uh, so for me, I find that's the most comfortable spot to do it. Stock's right there, right? Uh, again, you can do the lane change. And again, it's a simple little tap and you're not messing around with this tug to see if it actually accepts it or not. It's just either the stock or the signal. It's also easy to cancel if you want to do the opposing turn signal, uh, that'll cancel it. The other benefit with lane confirmation on is it will only turn on the signal when you actually confirm. With confirmation off, it turns the signal on as soon as it wants to do a lane change. So sometimes it's either waiting for you to uh, nug the wheel or for when it's safe to do so. So your turn signal on could be on for quite a while. And it's kind of embarrassing how that turn signal on looking like a nine-year-old grandpa. No offense to your nine-year-old grandpas out there. Keep on rocking. So there you go. Now you've seen both settings in action. So which side are you on? If you've always driven one way, why don't you try the other? And let me know which side of the fence you fall on. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. And keep those comments coming. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next week. So which side of the... Correcto, man. Correcto, man. Correcto, man. You still need to acknowledge your presence. As far as I know, this doesn't apply to the United States. It is... As far as I know... This doesn't apply to the United States because over there is if.
As far as I know, this doesn't apply to the United States. Over there, as if you, t as if you turn, hmm. as far as you, but up here in Canada, whether you have this setting on or off, you still need to acknowledge your presence and existence. We all exist, really. Do we? <laughs>